Oh, it, it absolutely is. And I think one of the things that makes evangelization particularly difficult, this is why we have all this talk of the new evangelization. Some of those who, who need to be evangelized the most um, and who are also the most resistant to it are, you know, baptized Catholics because, you know, I've been baptized. I went to nine years of Catholic school. I, you know, I've made my confirmation, you know, it doesn't mm-hmm. matter if I go to church that I have no real relationship with Christ, but I've made my sacraments. It, it's, I often experience this, and I don't want to go too far down this rabbit hole, but maybe we could. Who can, you know, who knows? Um, with uh, um, godparents, right? So, you know, what does the church require for godparents? It's it's actually a higher bar than parents, right? It's um, um, someone who wants to be a godparent to take that role has to be living the Catholic faith because that's what the church is asking. It's like you're you're a model of faith for this child in whose heart the seed of faith and the gift of baptism has just been given. Um, So you want someone who's going to actually be a model of faith for them. Um, So what are the bare minimum requirements? Well, they've had to be fully initiated, baptism, confirmation, Eucharist. If they're married, they have to be married in the church. They have to be living in communion with the church and people get so angry and they they say oh oh the church is so me i'm not coming back anymore what kind of faith does a person like that even have like if, if they don't understand that that role um of godparent is is essential um you know if they've reduced it to um kind of a nice sort of gesture for a family friend or or, or even worse because you know, the person's going to pay for a really nice party. You've completely missed what this is all about. And and I feel bad for those kids. It's like, what sort of faith is being practiced? Um, You know, and this, this is sort of another tangent, but it's, it's, it's a huge problem, I think. And and it's the problem in the church, a classmate of mine in, he's a priest in Los Angeles. he, He would say this in the seminary and he's absolutely right. He said, the problem with the church in the United States is that, the people have been sacramentalized, but they've never been evangelized. And I think, you know, all this Eucharistic confusion comes, comes from, from this, this fact. You know, we, we've, we've been enabling a kind of cultural Catholicism in, for far too long and, and where we, we just give people sacraments, but they have no – and we treat the sacraments as starting points when the, when the sacraments really should be – the, the culmination of a faith that has grown, you know, we, um, and, and that's, you know, you, you, you guys are involved with, you know, religious said, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's sad to see. And, you know, sometimes there's breakthroughs. Sometimes, you know, the, these things can be real conversion moments for, for people. But, but I think the, the, the evangelizing the relationship with Christ has to come first. And, and if that's not in place, again, um, the sacraments are are not going to have, they're not going to produce that that effect because they're not magic. They don't, God is not going to force his grace upon us without our consent, you know.